Okay. Young nigga, I got new money, I got new honey, I got old cat, pink fitness, and I got blue honey. Welcome friends to Look and Live, and this is The Perspective. The hip-hop artist Kodak Black have just accepted Jesus Christ in his life as Lord and Savior. For those of you who know who he is, friends, he has not always lived the best life, although he had one of the greatest hate in 2014, no flocking, and ever since he's been in and out of prison, although he had a baby uh, in 2017, and he's not actually expecting another child, but it seems as though the meeting that Kodak Black had with this evangelist at the gas station has actually started something new, a whole new chapter in his life that I personally believe is going to take him on a positive journey from this point forward. Now, I'm gonna let you watch this video and you can share your thoughts and opinions with me at the bottom in the comment description box below. And I'll also share with you my perspective and some biblical perspective as well to hear what the word of God has to say. Please stay tuned and check this one out. Yeah, brother, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, brother, man. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Wait. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. We just want to thank you for the special moment right now, Father. Father God, we know that you have died for everybody on the cross, oh God. We know that you have shed your blood on the shed of Calvary. There's no sin. There is no guilt in combination for those who are in Christ Jesus. And right now, I declare right now, Father God, that Lord, God, I pray for his mind, oh God. I pray for his mental health. I pray for anything, oh God, that's may trying to come against him in any way and cause towards his spirit, Father God, that he may not try to focus. But I declare, oh God, there's power in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray, oh God, as he's my brethren, he is my brother, and I love him with the love of Christ. I love him with the love of Jesus Christ, oh God, hallelujah. For Father God, you have shed your blood for everybody. And there is no guilt and condemnation for in Christ Jesus. So Father God, the same way that you have delivered me, oh God, the same way you have delivered other people, oh God, I believe that you can do the same thing for him, Father God, because your love and grace is still here. So Father, I just want to say thank you right now, Father God, for this opportunity opportunity nothing happens by coincidence nothing happens by accident but i believe this is a divine moment right now i believe it's a divine moment where the love of god is touching him right now to, to let him know that god still loves him god still want to be with him god still wants to use him for your glory father so i just want to say thank you lord thank you for this opportunity father god to get away for the holy spirit to just minister let him know that you are more real than ever than anything in life oh god that nothing can compare to jesus christ so father i just want to say thank you oh god for this opportunity Bless them in many ways, oh God. I, I plead the blood of Jesus over you, brother. That the, the God will cover your mind. Any thoughts or anything that's trying to contradict your thoughts, or anything that's trying to in, infiltrate your mind. Your hands are best. No matter what the world says, it doesn't matter what word it says. It matter what God says about you. And as long as God knows, he knows he loves you and he died for you. And he rose from the dead so that he can accept them as his Lord and Savior. So Lord my God, I declare right now, at this moment right now, as you're touching his heart, bless him. I want you to hold my hand, my brother. And we just hey, pray after well. you, man. Say, Father God. Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. For this moment. For this moment. You are God who speaks. You are God who speaks. And thank you. And thank you. For giving me this opportunity, oh God. For giving me this opportunity, oh Knowing God. Knowing that you are real. Knowing that you are real. I pray right now. I pray right now. That you forgive me. That you forgive me. Of all of my sins. Of all of my sins. And I receive your forgiveness. And I receive your forgiveness. And I believe. And I believe. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Died on the cross. Died on the cross. For my sins. For my Sin. And he rose from the dead. And he rose from the dead. I accept you, Jesus. I accept you, Jesus. As my Lord. As my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Clean me up. Clean me up. Use me. Use me. For your glory. For your glory. I believe. I believe. That if I was to die. That if I was to die. That when I wake up. That when I wake up. I will be in your arms. I will be in your arms. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I am saved. I am saved. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. You slid. You slid, boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Damn, I felt my heart beat. Oh, <laughs> God, man. This was just amazing. This was just powerful. If I may comment a little bit on what, if I may take and extract the segment from the evangelist and, and read that to you very quickly. He said, it doesn't matter what the world says it matters what God says about you. Can I pause and preach a little bit here? Listen, friends, it is so true. We live in a world that oftentimes wants to downplay God, oftentimes wants to say that you are no good, you're not good enough, or you are too sinful, too wicked, you can't go to God. You see, the experience of Kodak Black is saying to all of us right now who may be thinking those thoughts, it is not you. 
no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, no matter how messed up your life might have been, guess what, friends? The arms of Jesus are open to 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 accept you uh, into His arms as as your as as your Lord and as your Savior, as your Father, and to, to give you a new chapter in your life. That is the reality that He had discovered. And my question is, have you discovered this? Now let me go back once more time to look at the quotation from the gas station evangelist. He said, "Furthermore, God knows." He loves you and he died for you and he rose from the dead so that you can accept them as Lord and Savior. Friends, this is a good one. So isn't that the truth Kodak Black just discovered today from that video? Listen, friends, that he has a Savior and that Savior is Jesus Christ who died and rose for him to give him life, forgiveness of sin and the hope of eternal life. My dear friends, that is good news and my question is have you come in contact with this savior for yourself because mr kodak black just literally came in contact with jesus and he accepted he prayed and i believe with all of my heart from this point forward god is gonna do some mighty miracles in his life and i will be lifting him up in my prayers hoping that the lord will continue to work in his life despite of the challenges that he's gonna face from this spiritual journey but i believe the lord can do great things in his life now my dear friends here is good news for you let's look at now the biblical perspective of this where are you in your spiritual life just like kodak black just met jesus and guess what jesus is looking for you and some of you are running from god hiding from god you know making excuses not to come to god living in sin and refuse to repent and today let this experience from Kodak Black become an opportunity in your life to start a new chapter in your Christian experience. I don't care what you have done. And guess what? God doesn't care what you have done or how bad you have messed up and what you have said or the life you live starting today. God is saying, guess what? You can start afresh. You can live a new life in Christ Jesus today. You no longer have to be in bondage to sin because Jesus died on that cross of Calvary and rose after three days and give you victory over sin over the grave and also gives you the gift of life eternal what you need to do is to believe and accept and live in accordance to his word let me read something to you some of you thinking that you know what i have to be good or i have to be holy righteous in order for me to come to god listen to what the bible has to say in romans chapter 5 6 to 8 for when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Let me pause and say a little something to that verse. Listen, the Bible says when we were yet without strength, when we were yet in our sin, when we were yet away from God, Jesus died for what kind of people? The ungodly. You see, you don't have to be good to come to God. God died for bad people. God sent his son to die for the wicked for the sinful, for the wretched, for the messed up, for the sinners. And my dear friends, I, I, I am in this category and it is because of the grace of God alone that I can even preach to you right now because he has given me the same opportunity that he's, he's, he's actually offering to you right now. I'm sorry, my tongue's twisting right now because I'm just so excited about what the Lord is doing in the lives of people. Men like Kodak Black and I believe many others, the Lord is touching and working in their hearts and maybe today is your opportunity and guess what he died for the ungodly and that includes you let's continue to our bible study now verse 7 for scarcely for a righteous man will one die yet peradventure for a good man some will even dare to die yeah isn't that the truth sometimes we will do good things for good people who deserve our service who will do things only for the people that are right but that was not so with the god of the bible that was not so with jesus jesus was willing to die not because we are good not because we are better not because we're trying to be something a than we better than what we were in all actuality jesus died for us in our sinful condition in our messed up behaviors in our crazy ungodly lifestyles and jesus paid the price 
for your life before you knew about him. Let's go back to our Bible once again. We are told in verse 8, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Good news. Can I preach a little bit here? Can I say hallelujah? Listen, friends, it was while we were yet in our sins, while we were yet ungodly, while we were yet living in against his law, breaking his law, doing things that we ought not to do. It was during this time that God Send his own begotten son to save you from a life of sin before you were born, before you started sinning, before you break God's law, before you smoked the drug, before you tatted your skin, before you hate your wife, before you committed adultery, before you started fornicating, before you started drinking alcohol. Guess what? God sent Jesus to pay the price for those sins. And today the message is very simple. Have you accepted the gift of God, just like Mr. Kodak Black have done today. If you have not already done so, what are you waiting for? Until next time, God bless you and have a good one. Okay, friends, if this video was proven to be a blessing to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and share this, uh, this message with somebody else. Let them hear the blessing that the Lord has blessed you with today. And also, uh, click the bell icon to be notified for my upcoming videos. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you for watching. And stay in prayer. Believe in Jesus and walk by faith.